Hi, this is VU2 ESC Farhan, and I want to show off a new radio, the SBITX version 2. Now, this SBITX is a fully featured, stable, fully functional open source radio. Uh, everything from its circuit diagram to all software that runs on it is entirely open source, which means that you have an option to buy it, but you can also build it yourself if you want to. Now, it works out of the box with all modern forms of communications, which means whether it's FT8, PSK31, it's all built into the box itself. And it's being continuously updated with all software upgrades and better and better features. So, as time goes by, you will see that this radio actually starts becoming better and better. Now, among the homebrew projects, this is the only radio which will put out a solid 40 watts. Uh, on the lower bands and up to 30 watts on the upper bands of HF. It's an ideal rig which eliminates all wires and accessories as you can see. It's running FT8 and there are no wires except for the power supply on the left side and the antenna connection on the right side. Now, uh, apart from being a base station rig, uh, it can also go to the feel very easily because it's actually a very compact rig as I'll show you now. You see, it's a very uh, thin rig which can easily fit into your backpack. It's about 2 inches wide and about 10 inches across. That's about 10 inches across and about 6 inches high. So it's actually smaller uh, than even an old ARRL handbook. And I'll just lead you through the physical features. So up here, uh, is a slot through which you can access two HDMI ports which can directly connect here. Uh, and then on the side here, you will see that there are uh, USB ports, there is a USB 3, uh, two USB 3 ports and two USB 2.0 ports and also an Ethernet port apart from the Wi-Fi. Right now it is running on Wi-Fi. And on this side, you have the ear jack, the mic jack and the key jack and they all use simple audio uh, standard connectors so that you can use any microphone, key, um, any kind of key or your, your favorite earbuds. Uh, now this here is actually a very interesting thing because we have changed the, the power connector to what's called as an XT60 connector. Hams may not be very familiar with this but the reason why we do that is this. Now this is a LiPo battery and these are now pretty cheap. Uh, this, is, this 3S 11.1 volt battery lasts me a couple of hours in the field and it's pretty lightweight. So for about two and a half kgs, which is about five pounds, you can have the entire station in your backpack, which you can take onto the field. So that's about the external parts and the weight and the physical uh, features of this radio. Uh, there are two knobs here, of course. And uh, the way these knobs work is like this. So if, you if I just press it, after this, this becomes the volume control. As you can see, the volume is going up and down here, right? And this, of course, is tuning knob, and you can change the step rate from there. So uh, that's about the physical part of it. Now I will show you what's inside it. So the entire box uh, has just one PCB on it, which is this. Let me just clear this out. So uh, this is a single board uh, on which the entire radio rests. And uh, this is a very high performance radio to begin with. So now the latest trend, uh, as it rightly should have been to begin with, is ha having hybrid software defined radios, which means that the front end is actually, now this is the entire radio really here. Okay, it's very small. Uh, this is where the Raspberry Pi goes in. This is where the radio is. This is the front end. And in the front end, you have a passive field effect uh, transistor FET mixer, very high performance uh, mixer. And directly from the mixer, there are, there are no RF amplifiers before or after that. It directly feeds to uh, an eight crystals, crystal filter at 40 megahertz, following which the first amplifier, which is the IF amplifier is there. And then it converts down to a 25 kilohertz IF. And this IF goes through an an amplifier, again a high dynamic range amplifier onto the Raspberry Pi's codec. Now the codec that is here, this big chip that you see here, 
is the WM8731, which is a 24-bit, very high definition uh, DAC and ADC uh, converter to take these analog signals and put them into the Raspberry Pi through this connector here. But here, the other thing here is that the SI5351 has been cleaned up by power, by a reference of 25 megahertz temperature comp compensated very low phase noise oscillator so that the phase noise is also low. Now, this actually feeds to the power amplifier on the transmit side. So, this is the power amplifier section. Uh, all the transistors used here, these are 2N2219s, they just got a cost a couple of cents here and the power amplifier transistors here, although this is giving 40 watts out, is actually a very, very uh, low cost and expensive transistor called the IRFZ24N and this feeds to a number of low pass filters. Now the key thing about these low pass filters if you see is there are no relays here at all. All the relays have been eliminated thanks to uh, this te technique which Hans uh, Golf Zero United Papa Lima has come out with and you see these uh, small diodes here, these are the rectifier diodes which actually uh, allow you to uh, switch between uh, the low pass filters as well as between the transmit and receive. And here we have also added uh, an SWR bridge, an inline SWR bridge uh, which will report the SWR and the power going out through the, through the BNC connector. Now the reason why we did this and in the back if you see is a massive heat sink is that uh, you will also be able to buy these boards separately so that the, the entire SDR is there. All you need to do is plug in the Raspberry Pi and onto the Raspberry Pi you slide in the NSD card which is you know loaded with our software and you can uh, have a custom build of your own SBITX. So that's about the hardware part of it and uh, this box actually inside it, it, it just mounts like that you know in the back of the, of the, of the radio. So, uh, it's very simple, it's very simple to understand as well and uh, uh, in the next video I'm going to show you how uh, to operate the radio.